Talk your shit. I will. Talk your shit. Zach, stop it. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you. telling me shit. Y'all hold him. He's going to jail. I ain't scared of jail. I've been there before. Oh, good. I got you right where I want you. You ain't got shit but an ass whooping. Yeah, OK. Call the police. Hayden. Oh, good. Don't talk to me. Hayden, don't. I said don't talk to me. Y'all hold him, all right? Oh, now you want them to hold me. Is you scared? You better tell me what's going on for team. I'm not playing. She in the same place you going. Jail. You know, you better hope they hold me. Oh, is that a threat? Oh, it's not a threat. threat to me? Oh, you lucky. That's not a threat. I swear to God, if anything happens, Fatima's gonna take more than these rent cops to get me off your ass. That's a threat? Trust me, that's a promise. That is a promise. You don't scare me. You, where's Fatima? Where's Fatima? Ah, oh, Zach. You're still ghetto. Okay. okay. Behaving like a damn animal. So is she defending? I am not defending either of you. And I'm not playing with either of you either. Just, just Don't you think stop. I'm playing with you? Look at what you're doing. Or with him or with Fatima? Hayden. Where are the police? Hayden, you don't have to do this. Zach. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm chilling. He the one bleeding there with his panties in a bunch. You should not have done. Period. Bitch. Do you know how much worse you made it for yourself? Yeah. Fatima always rocked for me. I'm always going to rock for her. Yeah, but I was handling it. Handling this shit. This is what you call handling it? Listen, Zach. Zach, just calm down. I am gonna get Fatima out, okay? Go ahead, do that. Do that. Get out, please. Please. I will. Please. Bitch, you scared. Look at you scared. Look at you scared. <laughs> Zach, it's not go, funny. Go. No, it's not funny. It's not a joke. Yeah, because now I have to get you out, too. Don't worry about me. I'm good. I'm good. If I gotta spend a couple nights in prison, I'll be happy. No one at all. That bitch up. And what sense would that make, huh? He would even. He would be out living his terrorizing life. <laughs> Got no life. Look at him. That's like do me and Fatima. He's miserable. Right. Lonely little troll. Oh, you lucky. No. Oh, you. This one here, weak. Weak. You, you better hold tight because this one here, weak. Are you happy now? Well, Sisters fans, if you watch my review for last night's episode, then you know I wasn't really a fan of Zack's actions. Now, don't get me wrong, the fight for as entertaining as it was, I mean, from the, the choreography, I, I feel like my favorite part was definitely after, you know, knocking Hayden down the stairs and then chasing after him. And, you know, <laughs> when Zack, like, took his button-up shirt and threw it off, and Hayden was trying to, you know, square up. But I think he went in for, like, one punch and ain't through shit. And then Zach just kept wailing on him. And then when he tried to, like, you know, flee up the stairs. But then Zach grabbed him by the ankle and pulled him back down. That was hilarious. But to me, yeah, uh, as I said in my review, after the opening scene, the episode kind of fell flat for me. Because after that, you know, it just felt a bit... You can't... You can't have a scene like that at the beginning of the episode and then have the rest of the episode not feel anything but lackluster. It wasn't a horrible episode, but the energy just felt way slower. So, regardless, this particular episode, I know, is already going to get a lot of negative feedback because, look, I'm not saying hate. I know people are like, yo, you're a hating defender and whatnot. It's just the fact that I felt like, if nothing else, Zach looked pathetic. I know that he was the one winning, obviously, but I just think of the situation and how it played out. If he would have just kept calm, things would have worked themselves out because, guess what? By the end of the episode, Fatima was free. You know, remember, the whole thing was Zach being able, well, being excited about showing Fatima th their new home because... He and Preston just finished putting it together. 
and you're just going to throw all that away because Hayden had her arrested despite the fact that you know you got people like Andy on your side who was trying to de-escalate the situation but it just seemed to me that also I need to point this out some people are like yo this reminded me of when Benny whooped Jim Cryer's ass I think because like his demeanor and the white tee and everything you know when the guards were restraining uh, Zach it really reminded me of Benny you know just the fact he was kind of acting like Benny in this scene but it was just dumb to me because you're laughing and whatnot at Hayden calling him all these names and everything but you're the one who's being restrained by officer I mean security you're the one who's being dragged off to jail it's just pathetic to me like I said in my review my favorite part of the opening scene was when Zach was going off on Hayden you know just the fact that he's saying look at him he's pathetic he's miserable that's why he keeps coming to me and Fatima that was my favorite part not Hayden getting his ass whooped but Zach belittling him because he's telling truths to showcase to everybody that Hayden was the little bitch to me that's what should have happened even though I do feel like what really should have happened was Zach keeping his cool and just being, you know, I think Andy was taking him to his to her office so they could talk. But him rushing in is just playing into Hayden's hands, you know, just basically falling into his trap. Because guess what? At the end of the day, Hayden wasn't the one who was took, uh, excuse me, taken to jail. He just went right back to his desk. Yeah, we know that Robin and, you know, Andy are working to, you know, screw him over, but it's just, I mean, because, hey, guess what? They're playing his game. <laughs> but to just see how hot-headed Zach was to say, you know, Fatima rides for me. I want to show her I ride for her. For what? To both be locked up? Zach, this is what, this is like, you know, these rappers and, you know, people from the streets, when they get money, they get into trouble because they still live like a street thug you know it's just the fact that you know how many of these famous rappers uh who, who's the one is it asap rocky the one that um uh having a child with rihanna and uh, i think they're getting married at some point or was there they're engaged or something but he didn't he get arrested recently for some you know you know guns or whatever it's just one of those things where you can take you can give somebody from the streets money but you can't take the street out of the person so the way that zach handled this was just completely immature and while it definitely most likely helped the ratings for the episode a as a character moment this ranks up there in terms of early season two when zach burst into the hotel room to throw down with aaron leading him being arrested this was incredibly stupid I know the team of fans love it. People who are like, you know, oh, this is like when Will Smith defended his wife's honor by slapping Chris Rock. Stupid. This was completely unnecessary. I mean, it was just ridiculous. There was nothing to be gained from this aside from the satisfaction of kicking Hayden's ass in front of everyone. But it's just yet another stain on your criminal record. I wasn't a fan, guys. I know that a lot of people like, Dude, what is wrong with you? Again, from just a standalone scene, it was funny. But the more Zach kept running his mouth, the dumber his actions seemed. <laughs> it was hilarious, though, when he's just laughing his ass off. But then as soon as Karen comes around the corner, it's like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> that just shows you right there. You look, just take me to jail. I'd rather go to get locked up than deal with this shit again. So I just feel like, in my personal opinion, he should have waited you know, people like, you know, Andy better do whatever Robin wants to get Fatima and Zach out of jail. No, because she doesn't, she shouldn't have to. This was dumb. This was stupid. He deserves to get arrested. Yes, I know Hayden has done foul. They need to blow whistle on him and have him fired. But this was just painfully stupid. This is, this isn't, I don't know. I, I just feel like Tyler's trying to make a competition for me to review these episodes like what storyline or character actions do I feel is you know are dumber Zach and Fatima and how they're handling the Hayden situation or the whole Q staying with Maurice and Calvin you know it, it's it's there you know like I said before entertaining as it was I was not a fan of how this uh whole thing played out so 
I don't know. Like I said, I know I know I'm probably going to get a lot of pushback on this. I have not been everybody's favorite, you know, commentator, if you will, on the show as of late because of how I feel Hayden is being treated despite the fact he's trash himself. It's more so how the characters like Zack and Fatima respond to this. See, that's why I like the Robin scene with Andy because they're playing Hayden's game Hayden's way as opposed to Zack and Fatima who, yeah, they're not afraid of getting their hands dirty, but they don't think about the long term, you know? So I don't know. I, I wonder what kind of talk Fatima's going to have with Zach if she does get to see him at jail because y you got Zach telling Fatima, Fatima, you be doing too much. But then Zach did what he did at the law firm. So I don't know. But le let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I, again, entertaining, but the more I listen to Zach talk after he was restrained and continuously attempted to, you know, break away to attack Hayden again and making those threats in front of all those people, stupid. So, like and subscribe, hit the bell icon and select all. That way you show you, uh, you like the video and you keep up with the content on the channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description. And I'll catch you in the next one.